Hi Capricorn, how's it going? And welcome to your March general reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Capricorn, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Capricorn, if you would like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Capricorn, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be this time. I don't know. I'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Capricorn, how are we doing? Again, this is your March general reading. We're saying three more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Capricorn? Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for March. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Y'all know the drill. All right, Capricorn. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of your deck as your theme for this reading. This is the everything card. Y'all know I freaking love this card. It's one of my favorites. This is where in reality where you have everything that you've been wanting for, asking for. Um, the home, the career, the connection, family, all of the things, okay? It's Earth energy, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy, very big family, entrepreneur energy, just big, big, um, big energy, big money, four of pentacles. A lot of you have been waiting for this moment. You've been waiting for this. You've been holding on to this. Wow. I heard I've been waiting for this moment is what I heard. I've been waiting for this moment. Capricorn, what's going on? March. Two of Pentacles. We've been weighing our, our reality here. Eight of Cups. So Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. What's going on with Capricorn here? There's the Knight all the way out. Interesting. Eight of Wands. I do feel like you've been kind of back and forth on something. Should I or shouldn't I? back and forth on something, weighing your options, and then Eight of Cups, um, Knight of Pentacles. At some point, you did get moving towards um, an offer, a person, or a situation, Knight of Pentacles, that will be of the long haul, that will last for quite some time, a relationship, a job, something like that, Eight of Wands. There are lines of communication opening or have opened up so that something stable can come in, okay? But almost with this two of pentacles, it's almost like you had to drop something to take on something else. I have to leave this one thing to be a part of something else, okay? Because eight of cups is about travel. It's about movement, moving on emotionally from something two of pentacles that you were back and forth over, okay? Oh my God. I'm just going to take what was face up. Yes. For a lot of you, this is about a person, about love. You had to, it's like, I have to make a decision. Like I can't just keep being in the middle on this. I can't keep serving both sides or something like that. I have to make a decision. Judgment card, huge, huge, huge time to level up. Two of cups in the heart of your reading and come towards your person. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, we're in Pisces season now. Justice card. You're doing what's fair, what's just, what's right for this person or this situation for yourself. You're moving towards a very happy connection, but you had to drop something else. You got the hair. This is your reading. You got the Hierophant, uh, marriage energy, higher level commitment under the Knight of Pentacles. This is like the person you're going to spend a lot of time with. This is that you're coming into union with someone who you're going to have a business with. You're going to you're going to grow with. You might marry down the road. Um, we have the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords, strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for a lot of you. I think that's your person, someone you're dealing with, your boss, your partner. I, it's like a lot of air energy, lots of communication. And it's like you're telling them and they're telling you, all right, this is what I decide. Boom. King of Swords, King of Cups. We're doing the damn thing. You and someone are on the same level here. You've gone from being on a mission to being a knight or a page in this journey, still learning, still growing. 
And same with the other, there's just someone else here, two of cups, two of pentacles. And then we have the two kings here, strong masculine energy here at the end. Some of you could have an option and that could be what you've been juggling in the past, two of pentacles. Do I choose the one that is intellectually stimulating to me or the one who, king of cups, has my back, the person that really is emotionally there for me? Or are we finding the middle ground finally between our head and our hearts? Oh, that's what it is. That's the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that we had. Remember, how do we have it all? We find balance. We find union with the head and the heart. Yes, could this be about two people? Yes, but for a lot of you on a very deeper level, this reading is about head and heart. Okay, what's the bottom of the deck? More air. Ace of swords. The truth. Major truth, major communication, a new start in your life. It's not going to come easy or it hasn't come easy, but it was, I'm hearing it, but it's been so worth it or it will be worth it. Six of cups, four of swords. You've been praying for this six of cups for this, this time of peace, for this loving connection, for this, this time you've been waiting for this, this moment. I've been waiting for this moment. And it's, I feel like it's here, judgment. The call is here. You have felt the pressure. And I feel Capricorn energy, of course, and you've also probably added more pressure onto yourself on I need to do the right thing. I want to do what's best and right for me, but I want to do what's best and right for this person or this situation. And it's like for you to get in a good, loving, balanced, harmonious, high-level place, First with yourself and therefore also with someone else, Eight of Cups, you had to leave something or someone behind and that was very not an easy decision for you. You, Knight of Pentacles, you've been on this very steady eddy path with yourself. Has it come easy every day? No, but you show up for yourself every day, Knight of Pentacles. I feel that you're solid as a rock in your energy. And with that being said, you're like, I don't want anyone else to like even think about rocking my bow. So I need to, we're coming back to the train analogy. Every once in a while, I'll see for Capricorn only, y'all are the head of this giant, cool, awesome train that you built and designed. And every once in a while, we get someone hanging on to your caboose. And you're just like, I, I think you let them on for a while, let them back in, I'll consider it. Let's tag them on whatever boom judgment to a cup's hierophant for a true higher level commitment to happen here the caboose can't come the player can't come the child can't come the low level can't come the glies can't come the whatever the fuck that's been about for you and you're but it's like you've been juggling it though and it's like whatever that is it's like psh, if we're gonna go to high level we can't We can't be low level and high level at the same time. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? It's like you really had to make a decision and stick with it. And I think that's been the hard part here for you. Not that you have a problem with commitment, but I feel like you have a lot of, I'm hearing mouths to feed. Even if that's not you, you have a lot of responsibility. You have a lot of people looking to you. And with all that pressure, also, yes, the people looking at, well, what's Capricorn going to do? What is their decision? that's added more pressure and more, I mean, more layering and more pressure onto this final call, decision, judgment, energy. But again, once you make that decision, it's like the world, it's like the weight of the world gets taken off of you. You see the truth, you know the truth, six of cups, you know who your love is, you know where you feel safe, you know where you feel heard, you know where you feel seen, you know where you are appreciated. So delegate it. So say it, speak it up, King of Swords. And you are. You're saying this is who I love or this is where I feel good. Again, it's it's like either choosing between two people a little bit, but it's also you telling the rest of us, I'm in balance with head and heart. This is what I'm doing. And this is why, you know, not that you would have to give an explanation. Knight of Pentacles again, strength card, six of wands. You're going to get publicly recognized for whatever this is for endurance, nine of pentacles twice. I'm getting endurance energy with the strength card too, Leo energy. You've been enduring something very hard and very difficult for a long fucking time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a real long time. And it feels actually for a lot of you like a very, like a, almost a personal battle. Like other people know what you're going through, but for you, this is like, man, once I get over this for me, you're like, I'm gonna be a new person. 
Some of you have put off making a decision. I'm hearing procrastinator energy last message before we get going on the clarifiers. Procrastinator energy, like you've you've known for a long time that you're like, I need to make this decision. I need to go already. I need to do it. Like yes or no. Page of Cups just came out. Okay, so let's go to your Two of Pentacles. What have you been juggling here? Travel plans. Will it work out? Is this for the best for me? These are things you've been asking yourself. Page of Swords, Page of Wands eight of pentacles you're here you got good news recently or you're about to receive good news feels like a slight past energy or, or current energy page of swords page of wands eight of pentacles queen of pentacles you have been waiting um either to hear some good news from somebody and now that you hear that you're like okay now i know what to do queen of pentacles six of pentacles there's someone that you have on repeat from your past six of cups it could be a child that you have or someone six of cups that you've been in love with from your past. And like, you're like, well, are we on or off? Are we doing it or not? Because I have this thing going on, but you just say the word and I'm there or something like that here for a lot of you. Eight of pentacles, it could be a work tie for a lot of you too. Yeah. On your eight of cups, where are you going? You have the Emperor and the Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles again. You know you know where you're going. You know where it is you're going. You're going towards your Emperor. Your Divine Masculine, Three of Cups is a reunion. I feel like you're going towards someone, a person or situation that you've been waiting a long time for. You've It's like been a long time coming. There's been a big gap of time between since I've seen them and you've seen me. What's this Eight of Cups for Capricorn, please? Eight of Cups is also recognizing, it's a, it's a hard energy. It's recognizing, hey, because Emperor's on this, like, hey, I need to boss up. I need to make a big a move here. It's going to be hard, but I got to do this. Eight of Cups is the acknowledgement that you are truly, truly not fully happy and won't be happy in whatever your current situation was. So it's that, it's that, you know, pulling on my bootstraps and doing, doing something here and I got to move on. It's hard. Sometimes we get very comfortable, um, in certain situations or with certain people, but then when we get in that comfort zone, we don't grow. So I feel like you've realized I'm not growing here. I'm not expanding. I'm not happy here. What's this eight of cups for Capricorn? You're moving to your sun card. You're moving to your happiest days of your life. Capricorn, devil, you. You're the devil. This is you. This is you. Sun card. You're walking right into the sun. You're literally walking into your best days here. For a lot of you, it's a reunion with somebody or it will be something to celebrate in career. It will be a career move that everyone's going to be like, wow, you really did that. And you're like, yeah, I did. What's this Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn, please? Steady Eddie Energy. It's also your guardian angel. I told you. Steady Eddie. Justice. Doing things fair, right, just. Even keel, balance. You're this is you. You are Knight of Pentacles, Justice Energy. No one's knocking you off your knocking you off your block because you're also practicing very good karma. A lot of you have learned the game of karma and you learn what karma really is about. Congratulations. A lot of you know what karma is. Yeah, Ten of Swords. You have released um, old sa self-sabotaging stories, how you used to show up, things that you used to say or project on others. You're like, oh my God, I wasn't supposed to be doing that. I I've learned, I've grown up now. Also, for some of you, you're getting an offer um, justice card that will be, it's like very legal, very like money, a contract. And you're like, yeah, now that this is mine, I'm really good. Feels like a huge bump in pay for a lot of you. Or like the love of your life. I mean, either one. Ace of Cups came out. Okay, Nine of Cups. There is a wish fulfillment coming in love for a lot of you. Um, that could last for the long haul. Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here for Capricorn? Yeah. 
Someone's gonna be eloping. I just saw literally like Vegas in a chapel. Not that you have to be in Vegas to do that, but. That was very specific. What's this Knight of Pentacles for Capricorn, please? Seven of Wands, Hermit. You've always, um, you've always fought for this. You always, you're like, well, no, I believe in that. I, this is what I'm going to get and I will get it. You have worked really, really hard to be steady with yourself, to be even keeled and balanced with yourself. A lot of you have Ace of Cups. You're opening up, um, you know, alignment and love for yourself. Like you're in love with yourself, which is very good. You're on, you're on that self-love journey. And that's making you not be so defensive for a lot of you. What's this Ace of Cups though? King of Swords, who's down here? It is a person for a lot of you saying, hey, I want to reach out. Hey, let's talk. Let's lay out. Let's lay the cards on the table, right? Someone wants to lay it out with you. Seven of Wands is you're like, all right, but these are my terms. It did, it's not going to come easy, right? The best things don't. The, the best things in the whole world if they were easy, we wouldn't even go for them. Uh, easy, that's like candy, it's easy. The best things, the biggest rewards are you're gonna have to work the hardest for them, right? That's what's coming through, whatever this is, it's like really like gotten to you. What's this judgment card about Capricorn? Y'all's crown is popping off. My, my crown is like really activated right now for y'all, which is, that means that's for you. Yeah, big energy coming in. Big clarity. Something's definitely over. That two of pentacles, something that you were juggling. Ten of swords, tower, king of wands. You're like, you know what? I am tired of just like thinking about it, talking about it. I'm just going to get up off the couch and do it. And I feel like that's something that's been lingering and there's been delays because tower. Ah, uh, that's what it is. Is that for a lot of you, why we saw a little bit of this in the last reading or two readings ago, where it's like something had finally come to an end. Well, for the rest of you that didn't, well, guess what? The universe is going to come in and do it for you. Tower. They're going to tower you. <laughs> you're going to get a tower. You're going to get, you're like, well, because we also have the divine timing card. Like in divine timing, if you haven't walked away from what, what hasn't served you in the past, the universe is going to do it for you. And that's usually how it works. So let's not let a tower happen. Let's go ahead and make those decisions for ourselves and show the universe that we are on the right track. You are on the right track. What would be a tower here for you? You have the six of wands. It'll be public recognition. It'll be a victory for you. King of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, this is about you or someone making that move. And like, I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm just going to do it. Okay, temperance. Uh, Sagittarius's card. This is divinely orchestrated. You will be at the right place at the right time. You will be at the right place at the right time. And you don't need to worry about it. What's this two of cups for Capricorn, please? High Priestess and the Lovers. Wow. It's like your navigation system. It's like you've been naturally pulled towards this person or situation. That's way too many. It's way too many cards. Way too many. That was like eight cards. Okay, what's this two of cups? Soulmate energy, romantic connection, friend connection. The full card and the world card. Someone's opening up a cycle king of swords that's been closed before. Again, out with the old in with the new big time. Someone's taking a chance and saying, hey, let's open back up again. Let's open that cycle again for some of you, but it's closing one thing and opening up another. I want to get one more for clarity. Why is the world here? Why is the world world card? 
yeah, this is going to be a, a move in relationship or a steady, healthy, balanced uh, relationship or connection. Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Someone's coming back in and saying, I want to take a leap of faith with you. Um, Four of Pentacles specifically is about the home. Change of heart for some of you. Someone's had a change of heart. Someone's been protecting their heart. Yeah, someone wants to, to take a leap of faith with you and, and open up um, a cycle with you again. Yeah. High Priestess is the uh, counterpart to the Hierophant here. So there could be a twin flame match for a lot of you. Why is the Hierophant here? You have the Nine of Wands and the Moon card, Pisces energy. This is also, um, we're in Pisces season. So this Knight of Wands, this bold move will be made in Pisces season. King of Pentacles, you. You will be making a bold move. What's the Hierophant here for? It's high level commitment, marriage energy. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles. You're understanding and seeing a truth, Six of Pentacles, that... Seven of Pentacles. This is a seed that you planted a long time ago that's finally coming in. You've been, it's just that you've been waiting for a long time. And it's like you could wait longer and it still would get there. Or if you just like, what's this Knight of Wands about? It's the Wheel of Fortune. It's about wrapping up the old karma and coming into the new. The quicker you get that done, the quicker you'll see um, the results of this new thing come in. This is going to end up being a very healthy, balanced connection and love for a lot of you. Or in career. Hey, I want to go back to that old, that old, uh, you know, that job that was, I had the good benefits and I got paid really well. Something like that. I'll be taken care of there. For a lot of you, this is about a person that you feel that way about. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's this Knight of Swords for Capricorn? This is a very fast-moving truth, okay? Yeah, Empress, Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles. You are going to have to break someone's heart or someone's breaking your heart. Yeah, Hermit card, Three of Wands. You've been waiting for a long time to, like... So to have this two of cups, to have this connection, to have this whatever, this new chance, whatever with someone, you have got to, and you know this, there's a current person or situation that's like, I have to leave that final chapter. I have to impress. This is someone that's a partner to you already. Of even like, if I'm about to sneeze. Sorry, I have really bad allergies right now. It's almost like, man, for a lot of you, it's like I'm leaving mom and dad's home and I'm going off to college or I'm going off on my own in one way or another. And I'm going for higher level stuff. I'm going for my first big gig. I'm going for my first big job. But three of swords empress. But mom's going to be so sad when I tell her like, hey, we're glad I got this new job. But it means it's out of town. I got to leave mom's home. It's something like that. And if empress is not mom to you, that's a, a, another, another relationship or another business partner that you're having to leave. Three of swords. Break that person's heart, hermit, and pull away from them. It is coming with the three of wands on something that you've been waiting to do. All right, what's this king of swords for Capricorn, please? King of swords again. Nine of swords, four of cups, seven of cups. Ten of Cups. When you announce and tell this person, hey, I can't be here, I'm doing this, they're going to be sad. This person's going to say something like, I feel like you're slipping through my fingers, Capricorn. It's how, that's how they're feeling. This is someone else's energy. I was like, this is not you. 
Also for some of you, I'm hearing sharpshooter. Was that your last reading? Am I hearing that again? There's a real sharpshooter here that you're dealing with as someone who's had options and they, they're not happy with the options that they had. So they're coming towards you to say, hey, I don't wanna have options, I just wanna be with you. What's this King of Cups about for Capricorn, please? Two of Cups. I'm hearing I only wanna be with you, Hootie and the Blowfish. I only wanna be with you. Nine of Cups, there's a wish fulfillment. You only wanna be with this one person or this one thing. You're like, I wanna be with the one that makes me feel good. Seven of Swords, yeah. On the Eight of Cups, yeah, you you might have lied to this person that you love very much and they love you, but you might have told them in the past like, hey, I'm not interested in you because you were with somebody else. Like this person might have been like, well, I have feelings for you. Um, you're like, well, that's cute and all, but I've moved on, I'm with someone else. And now you're coming back to this person for a lot of you, something like that. What's this King of Cups for Capricorn, please? Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this is an apology for someone lying to you. Hey, and it could be, it can go either way. This is general. So what I'm picking up on this King of Cups energy is like Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. It's like this person's coming to you being like, hey Capricorn, you know in the past, when you asked me if I liked you, if you asked if there was something going on here or when we talked about our feelings and our emotions and I said I wasn't into you, that was a lie. I was into you or I had to lie for another reason because I was with someone else or I was entertaining another situation. But now something's changed here. So when this person wants to apologize and they'll come straight, they'll, they'll be very forward with it. Page of Cups is always like, let me buy you some coffee, let's chat. I got some stuff to say. Okay, but it comes with a small token of a gift. And I feel like that's where you feel open to this. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. This is about to skyrocket and be super passionate, super fun for you, whatever this is. I feel like the hardest part here is delivering that final news, wrapping up that final chapter and wherever it is that you haven't been so happy and communicating to that person I'm out or I'm not happy because, d d d d does that hurt to break that news to someone and say that? Yes, but also you get something that you really, really want because of that. We're talking about sacrifice energy and that is exactly what the Ace of Swords means. It's a new beginning where we have to sacrifice and let go of something for something else to come in, right? This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, behind your Ace of Wands and your Clarifiers, you have the Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords. Lover's card, Gemini's energy. Like you literally, as soon as you make the, the de de decision and choice to do something about this for a lot of you, you get exactly what you want, if not better. Okay? I feel like you're still fine-tuning some type of old cycle, wrapping that up. You are moving in a very, very beautiful energy um, of high level, high level commitment with a person or in career. And it makes you feel good to do that and to be in this, I'm hearing gift, to be in this union. It feels like a gift to you, okay? That's y'all's reading. I love y'all so much. Let's do your pick a card in Capricorn. If you want to um, do the love reading where we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Capricorn that won this time is Jacqueline Cran. Jacqueline, you are my winner. So Capricorn, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much. And I'll see you in the love reading next time, okay? Oy. I need a tissue. All right, Jacqueline. Please tell me you've seen Jay Quillen. People call you Jay Quillen. Our names are almost the same. All right, this is for Jacqueline. Got three more, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Spirit, one of the best and highest messages for Jacqueline, please.
All right, love, you have the seven of cups at the bottom of the deck. You have a lot of options in front of you. Not all that glitters is gold. So I do feel like you're talking to people or you have some options in some type of situation where um, you're networking, you're getting to know certain people, you're getting to understand certain things and you're like, oh, that's good. Some of those are not so good. You know, you're definitely um, seeing your options in front of you. All right, what do we have for Jacqueline here? Capricorn. Temperance, Sagittarius' card, Divine Timing. Spirit, what do we have for Jacqueline here? Queen of Wands, Four of Cups, Eight of Cups. So yeah, you are taking action. You might be dealing with a fire sign big time. Um, and either you're not happy with this fire sign and you want distance from them. You want to, you want to separate yourself from this person in particular, male or female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Um, or I feel like this is you taking wands, taking very, um, I'm hearing initiation. You want to initiate something for yourself, which means moving on. Like you might be um, wanting to move on from something. Well, you have the nine of pentacles. I'm sorry, the knight of cups with the ace of pentacles. So very good. Where are you going in the eight of cups? It goes to the nine of cups and then the ten of cups. And then you go to the nine of cups. Lover's card. And then you get a new something. You get a wish fulfillment here. You get a blessing. Once you move on, you get a blessing. You get a wish fulfillment. You get something for real. Lover's card. So I feel like you're... You've been healing. You've been very patient with yourself, especially emotionally on waiting for something to come in. But I feel like you're there's a situation where you had to take some action to physically move on from somewhere or at least emotionally move on from somewhere, I mean. And once you emotionally move on, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, you land something that you're like really, really happy about. Let's check that out. All right, Temperance, why is this here for Jacqueline? Empress. And the Emperor and the Three of Wands. Oh my God. You have the Emperor and the Empress. Three of Wands, Seven of Cups. I feel like you have been waiting for the right person, the right partnership for quite a long time. Okay. Or you're literally, emperor, emperor is like mom and dad. Or you're like, okay, I've been waiting to leave mom and dad's house. Or maybe to go see mom and dad. What's this queen of wands? Ace of cups. It's a new person. Seven of pentacles. No, that's a lot. Ace of cups, seven of pentacles. What's this queen of cups for Jacqueline here? Three of Pentacles. Someone wants to build and work with you just as much as you want to build and work with them. Queen of Swords, there will be a conversation. It's like I hear I'm either you get good news of like I got the job and I gotta leave mom and dad's house to go do this job, and they're gonna be sad, like mom and dad or empty nest syndrome, something like that. Or you've been waiting for this collaboration, partnership, love to come in, um, and now it is here. What's this Four of Cups about? Yeah, Four of Pentacles, Devil. You've been not happy in a certain place that you've been. You've been hanging on to something. Wheel of Fortune, you know it's time to move and do something different. You've been kind of stuck in a rut, kind of doing the same old, same old, and now you're doing something different. You're changing your energy. You're doing different routines. You're doing something different, and that different energy is bringing you something different. You're like tired of like being obsessive about something also. You're like I just sit around and think about this. I need to get going. I just need to work on it. What's this eight of cups for you? This is emotionally moving on. Yeah, three of swords, king of swords. You're delegating and announcing, um, hey, I hate to say this, but I need to go. I'm not happy here. What's this eight of cups for Jacqueline, please? Yeah, you're definitely on the move sooner than later. Hermit card, going single, going on your own. Well, 
like backpacking. Like, are you going backpacking in Europe or something like that? You've been waiting for your trip, something like that. You've been waiting for a long time to break away, whatever this is for you. What's this Ace of Pentacles? I told you it's 10 of swords, eight of swords. Once you stop thinking about it and thinking about all the things, page of swords, two of cups, the thing comes in. Yeah, you had to stop hoping for something. You had to stop thinking about someone. So you got up and changed your energy, doing something different. Boom, and as soon as you do, you get that message. High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles on your Nine of Cups. It's been worth the wait and you knew it. It's been worth the wait and you knew it. What's this Nine of Cups here? Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Tower, Page of Pentacles. Someone's going to be very, very apologetic, very sorry. Why is the Tower here? Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Star Card. Someone made you very angry and upset in the past. You broke free, broke away. They were lying about being single, and now someone's getting their karma. Someone that lied to you in the past is getting their current karma, like now, and your karma is you're getting like independence. You're getting a lot of, um, you're getting a new person, new friend, new communication from someone, um, an apology. Someone wants to work something out with you, but it's because you did the hard work of getting up and moving forward, okay? All right, love, that's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.